So looking at that uh, road to the finals, we will certainly have uh, one tie in there. That match is going on right now. And uh, they will play the winner of the match here happening on court one. Well, it appears that the Indonesians perhaps have, have, have a bit more support in here. Well, there's Indonesian support everywhere you go in the world, isn't there? Badminton. Huge diaspora. Well, these pairs have only met uh, once before. It wasn't too long ago at the French Open towards the end of last year. And it was one in three by Fikri and Marlana. And the semi-finals as well. Opted for this uh, near side. So we have got that data from that last match, which uh, would be handy, wouldn't it, to give us an indication? How do you think? is uh, about six foot, 25 years of age, from the south of China, Futian. 16 in the world, has been a, a top 10 player. That was achieved uh, quite some time ago, July of 2019. World champs uh, in 21, he got a silver, along with Wang Xiangyu, who's also 25, 180 centimeters tall, from uh, Sichuan province. And Looking at their record on the world tour. Oh, that was with rather Tao Ho Dong, excuse me, when he got to the world champs, I think. And they've dropped a game, just one along the way. It's pretty decent results. Has won two titles last year with Rong Xiang Yu, Spain Masters, and the Japan Masters. Mohamed Shoba Fikri is uh, 24 years of age, 176 centimetres tall, from uh, the major city of Bandung. Ninth in the world, playing their highest ranking. Two of them have got a bronze in the Southeast Asian Games last year. Bagas Molana is 25, six foot tall. Uh, this pair has won a couple of titles together. That was 2019 Hyderabad Open and the 2022 All England. That one really stands out. Well, they had, they had a retirement against them in the second round. They beat Dang Po Swan and Lee Jiehui. Uh, they've had a, a in three, that one. Ready to play. Lim Pam Dui An from Vietnam is our umpire. Duong Jai Siri Watanasin is our umpire.
Well, we are looking at the world number nine against world number 16. Ladies and gentlemen. They Okay, their record this year has not been uh, uh, too impressive yet. And on my left, Bagas Malana and Muhammad Soibil Frokri, Indonesia. And Sanju Kusal to Muhammad Soibil Frokri, level play. Stubby Yeah, Heard and Run got to the quarters of the India Open. They were out in the opening round of the, sorry, of the Malaysia Open. They got to the quarters. Lost to Ranki Reddy and Shetty. Then lost to Kim Won Ho and Na Sung Sung of Korea in the opening round of the India Open. That was probably a disappointing result for them. And then lost to Astrup and Rasmussen, finalists, eventual finalists of the Indonesia Masters. So it's not been a, a fantastic year for them. Yeah, I think overall, the, the familiarity of Fikri and Malana will stand them in good stead. They've only played, coming to this tournament, her and run 27 matches together. They only got together uh, quite late on. Nicely done by Fickery. Yeah, points are coming quite fast, aren't they? Might have just be veering out, not taking a chance. Looked like it might have just been a tight one. Almost snatching at that one a little. Fairly tight start to this one. Oh! 
six, seven. Well, that four-point run comes to an end. For the Chinese pair. Found that space right down the middle. Looking at uh, Fikri and Maulana uh, this year, in comparison to, say, her and Ren, just the Malaysia Open. Opening round lost to Ranki Reddy and Shetty. Opening round of the India Open to Ashraf and Rasmussen, who eventually oh. made the... Sorry, who uh, obviously had a Nine, decent year. Six. Lost to compatriots Alfen and Arianto in Indonesia at the quarterfinals. So also a pretty disappointing start to the year. Cross court, very nice. Over. Whipping that back run. Yeah, when you're playing a shot like that around the back, it's, uh, 11, it generally doesn't nine, end well in your favour. Hearn run at the interval, up by two in this first game. There's that drift that we uh, spoke about perhaps on that far end. Eleven, 
Well, they're keeping themselves in the hunt here. Fikri and Molana. Oh, they could have finished it off earlier then, Indonesians. Chance now, they do it. 13, 14. Well, every time they just creep up on the Chinese, the Indonesians, that pressure is released for her and run. Three-point cushion could be valuable towards the end of this game. Number of those smashes 17, not found their intended target from the Indonesians. Chinese looking in decent shape here for the key number. That's the lead they have, and that's the number of points they need to win this. Now up to five. 30. Well, I thought I was short. The Chinese also feel the same. They are challenging this. Could have been one of those really tight little clips of the line. Yeah, it is good. Actually, very much in the line. Seem to have misjudged that one a little. Malana. Oh. Oh. 
19.50. Five game points here. So, a pretty straightforward win there for the Chinese pair. Who just need a little bit of time to get going. But from the time it was 5-4, or 6-5, excuse me, they have not looked back and led from there on. 21-15 then to her and run. Well, the only other time that they played that went to three, the semi finals of the French Open, Fikri and Molana won the first game. Second one went to Hearn Run, and then the Indonesians won the rubber. So a different dynamic one, now. No. As we said, Huaji uh, Ting was ranked as high as 10th in the world with uh, Tan Chiang. That's when he won the uh, World Championship silver medal. Lost to Takuro Hoki and Hugo Kobayashi. Two, one. Then changed partners with uh, Zhao Haodong. Before then moving over to uh, Ren Xiang Yu. So they really haven't played uh, too much together. Well, this is the first time that Wen Sheng Yu has been to the Thailand Masters. Or rather, last year he was uh, out in the first round, I should say. Ha Ji Ting also first round in uh, 2020 as well, in his previous experience here. Vickery and Maulana. 
They got to the semi-finals last year. So they're hoping for a repeat. But right now, they're under the cosh because they lost the first and are trailing by four here in the second. Well, you look at the uh, Chinese pairing, and in terms of semi-finals, they have been to uh, two of them. One-one, lost one. The one they lost was the French Open, of course, to this very pair, and they won one in uh, the Kumamoto Masters Japan towards the end of last year. I'm oh. still just about in. Oh. Well, I have to make absolutely sure I heard your thing. Twenty-eight shots. That's the longest rally. It's really not been that kind of match so far. Oh, Nine, <laughs> just made eight. it in. It does feel like there's perhaps a slight left to right, a sideways drift as well. Very slight. Yeah, things like that when they happen, you just yeah, you, know, you feel Three. that that might have a part to play. It's a seven-point gap already for her and Run. <laughs> well, Ficker and Malana last year got to five semi-finals. Look at that. 11, four, at the break up. of the second game. It's 11 4 to Hearn Run. A nice seven point lead. They've already taken the first game. They're in an excellent position to win this one in straights now. Well, the uh, Indonesians have to step it up here. They've been below par so far. Played that one just a little late. Yeah, good record in the semi-final department for Fikri Mailana. They won their last four in a row. But uh, it's not looking particularly good for them at the moment Double here. Five. 
overall their record of semi finals they've been in six, they've been in eight, won six, lost two. This is getting more and more difficult for them. Oh. Overall, their record against uh, Chinese Five. pairings, they've won six out of ten, so it's not bad. Won their last match against this very pair, and then prior to that, lost three in a row. A whopping 10 points now separates them. Again, top of the tape there. Just can't quite make it. These points are too sporadic at the moment. Yeah, relentless, isn't it, from the Chinese? Oh, I was really going at it hard. That might have been going out, it was okay. Just scrambling around, aren't they, at the moment, the Indonesians? Looking a little worse for wear. This looks like it's going to be over very shortly indeed. There's a massive 14 match points here. This is uh, quite remarkable, I've got to say. We haven't even got half an hour on the clock. And it's almost done. Yeah. They've done it. Well, that's an ignominious end, isn't it? For Fikri and Marlana. Without even a shot fired from them in that final point. They win it on the serve and ace effectively. Her and Ren have been very, very impressive. And they're into their third final. Sorry, their second final in a very short time together since towards the end of last year. Big moment for them. Look at this. He gambled. Oh, would you want to be taking chances on match point? So, disappointing as far as the Indonesians are concerned. We've only had one finalist this year. That's Fernando and Martin. Yes, last week at the Indonesia Masters. Because He Ting and Rung Xiangyu, the fifth seeds from China, beat the Indonesian pairing second seeds, Mohamed Shohibul Fikri and Bagas Molana. 21-15, 21-6 in just 28 minutes.
We are to our third match. It's gone very quickly so far here at the uh, Thailand Masters 2024. And we return to women's singles now. Supanita Katitong of